is being exposed. And there is nothing to 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 hide. Nani leo? Mm. And there's nothing to pretend about. So, unapojua hivyo, hmm? You don't even you don't even me have even stopped bothering. Now I just tell myself, oh, oh that is what you are. Let me tell you one thing. This is what is happening actually. There is there is, this season eh? there is a there is a, like a, we can say like plenty of light. And that plenty yeah. of light sure. eh? is is going you know, in a, when they say that uh, whatever is hidden shall be exposed. But so that is exactly what I've been telling people. Yes, this is what is happening. If you are harboring this season, if you are harboring negative emotional energies, they will be triggered. Even those in They will be triggered. They will be triggered uh-huh. and you get to exposed. You get to you you get exposed. That's this is who you are. That's right. So So that is what So that is what is happening and actually if someone is harboring negative emotions if someone is harbor if if the collective has got something within them which needs to be worked upon they'll be exposed and be to be experienced like you know, uh-huh. when uh, even uh, these things of chaos and wars here and there no it's not about people wanting to fight it's being exposed to humanity that's this is who you are uh-huh. that's true Therefore, so me when i realized that i thought it's some booking now impact you negatively get focused observe learn what you need to learn go in check if there's anything that is resonating within you concerning the same pick yourself up and move on yeah that's the thing em goja goja shira jede so it's a season of getting to focus on working upon yourself Ah. I am English yes. Anything happening with somebody else is upon them. You cannot business. save anyone. Number one. Oh. The only person you can save is yourself. Get balance with your emotional state and your emotional body. Get balance. This is what is going to assist in uh, assist in uh, sailing you through because eh shit is going to 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 become big and only those who are balanced they will sail through it tribulations are real Sheila tribulations are real in cycles this is not all oh, there is religion re- religious religion copied from the ancients because the ancients knew chaos turmoils is always part of the change at the beginning Moment, when you are told to when when moment. when you are told to get grounded people think it's grounding it's not grounding to get grounded is to get grounded within and you cannot get grounded if you are not you lack stability in your emotional body to get grounded is to stand 
in balance. This is what to be to be grounded is. So this is the season of people to get grounded. Not a season for for spinning around dramas and rumors. I told you last time I told you everything you are hearing outside here. Either religious, either spiritual Sheila, everything you are hearing about here, there are rumors about God. They are all rumors. No one has seen God, no one knows God. Where God is, is a mystery. To the angels, to Jesus, to everyone, God is a mystery. All what you are here, you are seeing, these concepts here, they are all rumors. And it's not that they are invalid. Every concept is valid. But none of the concepts is the final truth. This thing we call God can final final the final of God cannot be reached. The finality of God cannot be reached. Where God can be given a description or definition. Or even an identity. Sheila, this thing is ever knowing. Something which is ever knowing is accumulating more knowledge. Therefore, it is changing at each and every moment. Growing, becoming bigger and bigger and grander at each moment. And it's moving as it expands. Therefore, it cannot attain a final definition, description, or an identity. Immediately you, at, you attain, you give God an identity, definition, or description. Even before you think of giving him a name, he has already moved beyond the speed of light. So everything outside here, I call them rumors about God. When you tell me, oh, these are all scriptures, these are, I'm telling you, these are rumors about God. Even what you are speaking here, they are rumors about God. No one knows about God. We are seeking and journeying. It's a journey, and it is a never, it's a never-ending journey. And people think they already found him. It's very far. We are just, if someone thinks they are experiencing God, Sheila, no one, no one can, can is able to hold that energy of the fullness of God, no one. The higher, the, the more we rise in consciousness, as that thing is ever knowing, is moving, eh? as we are chasing it, this is the journey, chasing that. And whatever we are experiencing, we might think that we have experienced God and we give him a, we give him a name. No, you experience this. The energy signals it left behind when it is moving. And when you take that signal to be your truth, you missed God. What you found is part, is part of God, but you missed God. <laughs> 